What is up, y'all? So I did a wash and go for the very first time. And I want to take you guys through it. So uh, first off, I'm washing my hair. Because, you know, I'm going to get all the junk out, all my old hair products out. And this is a little hack I learned from YouTube. If you don't have a hooded dryer or anything, use this. Shout out to Allocate Naturals for sending me these products. These wonderful, like, period. These joints look actually gorgeous. And this is the only product I didn't use because, like, I didn't really have to twist anything. Now, my hair is in sections and I'm using this lemongrass leave-in conditioner. And this conditioner, y'all... It definitely threw me for a loop because it was pretty thin and it was in a spray bottle. I'm using them being in pots and thicker, but it did work. So I'm not mad. Next time I'm using this Hold It Styling Gel. And this, you guys, was the star. Like, if I had to choose one, it would be this one. Because it went through my hair and defined it. Like, look, I was even like, okay, hold up. This was good. And then, like, quick length check because I was not really feeling the sinkage. But it still worked really well. And in the back, I was trying to do this like little shingling method. Um, it kind of worked well. Anyways, I was in the back. You can see my hair is a little bit more 4B than 4C in this back. That's why it kind of looks like that. I tried this little not praying hands method. I think that's what it's called. I found it on YouTube. Um, it didn't really work. You just have to have a good technique, another length check just to see. And this is how my hair looks so far, you know, keeping the same technique. I tried again these praying hands, but it, w it just wasn't working. And um, adding more of that leave-in conditioner. If you like spray bottles, then this is for you, honestly. But I'm used to pots. And I'm trying this singling method once again because we're getting to the front and I don't know about y'all, but the front is really, that's really what matters. And, you know, going through each in, tiny little section, this part I was putting so much focus and effort into. And I went through each and tiny little section and made sure that this, this drum was going to be defined. I did not care how long it would take. And it actually worked out really well, you know, each going through each little section. This really takes a lot of time and patience, you guys. Tender, love, and care. I put that in each and every single um, strand that I was just making sure that was defined. And this gel made a lot of things easier because it held everything together. And having my hair moisturized, you guys, that is the number one thing I need you guys to take away from this. I want your hair to be def very, very defined. But in order to do that, you have to have it moisturized. And honestly, by this time, I was pretty much over it. I was really tired, but thank God I was done. And that's how it looks right after I finished it. You know, it was very, very defined all over. My hair has never been this defined, at least all at one time. But we are not done yet because I'm going to use this lemongrass edge gel. Um, this this was definitely be the number two star of the show because it kept my hair in its place, at least in that small part that I used it at. And going through with my finger and this um, edge brush, <laughs> this really a toothbrush, but it's an edge brush in my opinion. And just going it through and making sure that it stays in place. Next, I'm using this mousse. And this pretty much made sure that my hair was not super, super, super shrunken. It pretty much elongated my curls. Next, I'm using this finishing oil, which was conveniently in a spray bottle as well. And I really like that because I didn't have to like mess up my curls and disturb it. This is how it looked very, very much after. And then a few hours later, my hair was still not dry. Um, this was like five hours later. Then three days later, this is after like I went outside. I went out to the store and it still looked really good. Like there were parts that were really defined and it was summer heat. So I am really, really, really happy with these results. And I eventually, like, you know, it looked really good. So I had to put a filter on it. I eventually put it into a puff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.